Good morning and welcome to the Saturday Morning Vodcast podcast, where I play scum. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, all you Billy Bumblers out there. This game is called Scum. It's one of the few games that I play. I'm not good at video games at all. I, I don't know if I've got this set up right. I don't do this. So, but I thought it might be fun. Um, you guys can enjoy and just sit back and watch me destroy. Oh, that's really choppy over there. <laughs> oh, what is that? This game's been out in early access, I think about two years now. And um, I followed a guy, Ray Kit, on YouTube. He He's the go-to for this game. Um, and it's a survival, it's a, basically a, I don't want to say basically, it, it's a zombie survival game. But what you are is you're a prisoner on this island. Uh, take a look at the map. And um, you're on here with a bunch of other prisoners. And apparently this, this, this area... Uh, it's in the Middle East somewhere, Northern Africa. I can't remember where it is, where this game takes place. Um, it's like an abandoned city. So there's like, you know, your typical stuff you'd find in a, a military city. There's a lot of bases and stuff. And it's one of the largest maps that they use for uh, the Unreal 5 engine or whatever engine they're using. I hope this is a lot smoother on your side. You know what? I should check and see if there's a way. If anybody knows how to do this and make it look good, that would be great. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> It'll either look good. Oh, where did the game go? What the hell just happened there? It's like the game keeps disappearing. It's eating up my CPU, too. Somewhere between 75 and 80, just constantly. The game work runs fine. It's super smooth on my screen over here. Um... And maybe it'll look good after it's done recording. I'm just going to stop talking about that. So I'm a prisoner. Uh, this gentleman is called The Dude because I already used my Jason name, which I always use. Um, all right. So what do we got? I, I just left this island. I found a boat on it and it came over to the mainland. But the problem was is that it ran out of gas halfway across the uh, the channel, the Chanel. And so I had to row it the rest of the way, which means I left a lot of equipment over there. I did bring my guns with me. I had a fishing pole, and it's gone now. Um, yeah. So really, there's there's kind of, you know, your different weapons. You've got your ranged weapon. Hold your breath and fire. And then you've got, you know, your shotguns, which are my favorite personally. And handguns which this one actually happens to have a uh, flashlight on it, which is nice if you're, you know, you're in the dark and there's zombies all around you. The worst is in this game is they have these underground bunkers that are very, very dimly lit and you can hear them. And they've added some like kind of scarier, I don't want to say scarier, like some of them will laugh. You can hear them laughing in the darkness. And some of them even have... Um, bomb strapped to them okay there's one now let's go ahead just take that i did not see that coming okay there may be more usually when <laughs> when you shoot your gun off like that they come a running i'm also looking for a vehicle at the moment because this map is so big that getting around the world you really need something now i'm playing on a, a a solo server so this is basically just running locally um i don't know if you care <laughs> there are uh servers you can connect to but i'm terrible at video games and i just enjoy this part of it the survival aspect of it oh shotgun shells can always use a few good shotgun shells that's what i always, that's what mama always said uh i can't join those i guess those are the ones i just found all right this new expansion just came out uh, last week. They are halfway to the point where they're ready to release the game in the full version. Um, there's supposed to be a lot of things coming to, like the metabolism system. So if you look at it, it's insane. Like, I don't even pay attention to half of this stuff because I just want to have fun. And if I had to pay attention to how many, you know, B1 vitamins I have and how many I need up, oh, my D, I'm very deficient in D. You know what I mean? Shut the fuck up. Um, yeah, uh, Colin, he's got to poop. I hate to do this to you guys, but, I mean, 
I guess we could just, uh, we'll go outside. We'll be respectful. Can I get on top of this thing? You don't really want to be pooping out in the open, because if you poop out in the open and something runs up on you, you can't stop pooping. I'll poop on the top of this rock. You hold down tab to bring up this menu, in case you guys are ever going to play it. I would love to play this with, with, with some people that I know. And you select pooping, because right now that's what he has to do. Yeah, so there's a few things in the game that need to be done. Peeing, pooping, uh, sometimes you get sick and you have to throw up. The guns can... That's disgusting. Stop that. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I also have the the little, like, um, oh, yeah, something poop. I pooped something out. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a candy bar. Excellent. Choco bar. You mean to tell me I have... N oh, because I'm still pooping. You can't pick things up when you're pooping, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> or peeing. You can't walk when you're peeing, which really pisses me off. You can eat and walk around. You can drink and walk around, but you can't pee and walk around. I can pee and walk around. It's it's not the safest thing in the world if you want to keep your pants clean, but... Right now I'm just going along the coast because I want to see everything that they've added in. They've added... Uh, so if you look at the map... Uh, I can't do it. So here, I'll show you with my mouse. This and this was all added recently. So the map used to just be this, which was still huge. If you were to walk from here to there... I mean, I couldn't tell you exactly how long it would take, but I would assume it wouldn't be like five minutes. It would be a good hour or two hours to do that. And now that they've added all this, it's just crazy. And I don't know what's down here. I, I've been to this city, I think. I crossed here. I traveled down and I took the road west, east, sorry. And I found, um, I found some stuff there. Right now I'm trying to find a bag because without my shit that's over on the island... I mean, I could row back for it, but... Ooh, fishing reel. See? We're on our way to get a new fishing pole. Aren't you excited for me? I'm excited for me. I'm wondering if this video is going to do any good, because this is nothing like the rest of my channel. If anybody... Oh, good. 22. I do have a 22, so that is handy. There is a shitload of guns in this game, too, so half of the time I end up finding stuff that I'm like, I can't use this, I can't use this. But at the same time... Ooh, another chocolate bar. Jesus. I, um... I want to keep everything. I want to hoard everything because I'm I'm kind of treating it like the way I'm playing it. When I when I play a game like this, it's, it's I make it a personal story. Like I am the last person in the world. This is my story. Like this game has nothing to do with the actual storyline of the game. And what I'm trying to do is to find the best place to settle down somewhere close enough to a city and some kind of compound so that if I need weapons or if I need food. Um, if I'm near, I, most of the time I find a lake or a river so that I at least have water that I can drink if I need to and wash up. You can wash in this game. You can wash your clothes. You can repair your clothes. Like things degrade over time. I just recently repaired all my weapons. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't have my weapon repair kit anymore. That sucks. I'm not going to make these long because, I, I, like I said, I, I play in a very boring fashion when I play these games, as you can see. This is this is usually the key. When you find... All right, I'll take those. Whenever you shoot inside, that's another thing about the game. If you shoot inside and you don't have earplugs or some kind of protection for your ears, you can't hear very well. Everything's ringing for a while. Yeah, soap, surgical maps, razors. All this stuff can be used to combine things and, like, um, just to help you survive in any way. Think about it in, like, in real-world terms. If you were the last person on Earth and this is the conditions that were left for you, you know, what would you do? Um, I think that's just one of the funnest things to ask myself, at least. Like, I've often tried to write post-apocalyptic fiction thinking that it would be the most amazing stuff because I love it so much. But it's not easy because you have to fill space. There has to be reason. And if you're not actually doing the last man on Earth and you're actually going to discover that there are people still alive, then, you know, that, that kind of defeats the purpose. I had this cool story about this, um, I don't know, I guess it would be futuristic. What is that? There's no bullets in it. There's never bullets in guns. You know, I mean, I guess <laughs> that's not a terrible thing. Like, in, in reality, you probably shouldn't keep a gun loaded. I don't know. That's an argument that I'm not going to take up here. <laughs> you want to know my opinion on guns? Keep them in fucking video games. <laughs> 
If no one had guns, no one. I mean, no one. Just get rid of all the guns. Just like national, let's let's melt them all down into jewelry day. Like we'd all get together, and we'd all say, "Hey, man, this sucks. I don't want to do this. This is you're taking away my rights." And then for the next six months, you wouldn't hear about any shootings. Like, um, I don't know. I'm gonna get off my high horse. I just think it's crazy that we live in a world <laughs> or in a country. With this many mass shootings and school shootings. And I, I hate when people blame it on video games because I don't know. I think it all comes down to the parent. I have kids that enjoy video games day in and day out. And I can promise you they will not grow. Well, I guess I can't promise you. <laughs> but I can almost guarantee you that they're not going to grow up and shoot people. Um, clearly, something's going on. Mentally, oh shit, I almost got hurt there. I'm not going to talk about mental illness either. Let's let's leave that alone. Let's just play a video game for a few more minutes and enjoy it. Well, I've uh, pretty much raped this place of everything I can get out of it. I guess that's not the best term to use. But I am exactly where I wanted to be. I wanted to see what was at the very tip at the end of this island. And now I know. Pretty much nothing. So I'll move on. Where do you think I should go next? Which quadrant do you want me to go into? Is that, is that what you call it? Or is that what just be four? So this is going to be, what, this is five by five? Which 20 fiplet do you want me to go to next? If you enjoy watching this, this, I'll gladly make more of these because I enjoy playing this game and it would allow me to kill two birds. Do I have a dagger? I had a dagger. I had a knife. Fuck, I don't get a knife anymore. Now I can't cut shit. But the nice thing about this game, I'll show you. Let me show you crafting really quickly here. And then uh, we'll call it for the show. Crafting is fun and easy. All right, so I just found two small rocks, which is actually what I need to make a stone knife. This is how usually the game starts. I should probably start a new character so I, I could show you guys start to finish how it goes. But now I have a knife. So if I need to cut shit, and I'll take that in my hands because I'm out of room on my back. There are a lot of storage options in this game. Um, here, let me show you the crafting stuff. Anywhere from uh, tools and weapons, you got your basic, and everything is based on your, um, like your skills. So you got strength, constitution. I have a very terrible strength, 2.65, dexterity, and intelligence. I've always been an intelligent and dexterous person. Not so much as I get older. But my character is. I do want to kind of go to the very tip of the island. So I need to go west. The west is the best. That's what Jimmy told me. Old Jimmy Morrison, he and I, hanging down by the river side. You dare me to swim out to that thing? They just recently added sharks into the game. So I suppose I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, this is Scum. Uh, this is the podcast. If you guys are loving watching these uh, or loving watching this, this is the first time I've done this one, uh, this one, this kind of uh, video, let me know in the comments below if you don't like it. Actually, I probably shouldn't add anything to my repertoire at this point. I'm already so far behind. So uh, maybe we'll do these every now and again. Just let me know if you liked it. If you liked it, then I'll, I will certainly do maybe, I don't know, one a week, one a month, something. We'll see. All right, you guys take care of each other out there. Don't forget to make somebody smile today. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast podcast. Boy, howdy.